Now, as important as it is to isolate, if you even have a chance of being infected with COVID-19, it can also take a toll on your mental health and your wallet. Well, that's why public health officials are doing what they can to make sure people are as comfortable as they can be at home. Madeline O'Neill explains how workers specialize in getting individuals and families through that isolation. Maddie? Well, the Federal CARES Act funds this program. More than half a million dollars goes toward Public Health Madison and Dane County's Isolation Support Services Program. It's helped more than 1,800 families so far and countless others who are protected when those families stay home. Isolating means separating yourself from the outside world for up to 10 or more days. This whole program is really protecting the public, but also protecting the family itself. Families who still need to eat. That day they could have been wanting to go to the grocery store and our public health specialists are saying, hey, you've got to isolate because you know, you're know you either COVID positive or a close case. Public Health Madison and Dane County officials don't shut the door there. Isolation support specialists like Natalie Kalo can point people to resources. It can vary between um, rent assistance, energy assistance. We give uh, gift card money. Money that can be used for supplies like groceries, toiletries, and supplies for children. If there's an infant in the home and they've, they're out of formula, and so how do I get that formula? We talk about all the strategies possible for curbside pickup and delivery from pharmacies. Following a surge in COVID cases this fall, isolation support services are in higher demand than at the start of the pandemic. We would do between five and 10 referrals a day for isolation support. Now we're doing up to 70 a day. So even those isolating can do their part to keep those in the outside world safe from the comfort of their homes. And we're trying to give them everything that they possibly can to stay in the home with the resources that we're providing them. If you have any questions about isolation, including how many days to do so, Public Health invites you to ask your contact tracer. Now this program started at the end of April and is set to go through at least the end of this year.